Heyo folks, Minicus here, back with more Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we are continuing the ever-going, growing story of Book 7. I, Alright, I lost my road there. I, I kind of veered off there, but uh... Pretty much, we're back. More story. We're almost at the end. This is the... We're at the semi-finals. Crazy. I didn't even realize it, you know? Just one more chapter to go and that's it. But, uh, in the last video, we figured out the game plan. We are now taking on Gulvig, now that we have the power that we need to defeat her slash the Golden Curse. So, uh, it seems that we, we've taken care of the present issue, which is Sather. Uh, she is no longer bound to become Gulvig. But we still gotta take care of Kavasir and Gulvig. You know, past and future. And so it seems that we're going to the past by taking out Kavars Kav eh, Kavasir. Or at least getting her to stop her plan of becoming Golvig. Like, seriously, girl. Come on. Stop it. So, to do that, we are using... Picnic Felicia? I think that's what we call her, right? <laughs> she, as you can see, she is a Forma, plus one, plus ten dragon flowers. I actually used a manual that we got way back when to give her this merge. But, uh, yeah, she's got a refined Air Dreamer. Steady Sturdy Surge, Armored Flow, Savvy Fighter 4, Assault and Bolt Fighter 3. I'll tell you guys more about it as we get into these. I don't want to make these introductions too long. We've got... Uh... Wind Claud, I guess? <laughs> I don't know what we call this guy. You know, Wind Tribe, Wind Claud. He's got his base kit, we're rocking Guidance, and uh, you'll find out why. We're using Legendary Celica and Legendary Alm. They are partnered with... Normal Alm. And uh, Duo Duma. Jump cut! Hi! Let me go from like 15 minutes later. Uh, I made an adjustment. So instead of being with normal Alm, Legendary Celica is now paired up with her dear brother, Conrad, who is rocking Refined Mass Lance, Bonfire, Attack Defense, Bond 4, Dolt Close, and Joint Home Defense with QR Seal. I have no idea how this will go. However, I think it's very cute to go with something like this. We bring some Shadows of Valencia characters with us, and I think Conrad will very much like to join his sister when we're dealing with witches. <laughs> and I have Legendary Alm is paired up with Duo Duma still. But the reason I brought him along was he's a Shadows of Valencia character. He's got Milla with him. And also, it's Halloween time, baby. Get a little spooky here. So with that being said, I'm not going in with two units. Chill out. And uh, let's get to it. For our future. Past and present. Hello, Kavasir. I feel... unusual. I was told I was to perform the ritual in the past. Why am I here, now, and this time? Are you in the present or something? The Golden Serpents will not permit a break in this cycle. I don't understand. Past, present, future. The three of us cannot all live. Huh? The present cannot allow us to live. And so, we have no choice but to bring an end to the present. We have no choice. The golden serpents will keep us when and where we must be. One of us will face Sather, and only death will end the battle. Hi, Kavasir. One day, I will become Gulvig, but not before I become you. I'm sorry, but I have to kill you if I'm to save the children of Midgard and live on myself. I understand. Even if you shared my face, we are separate beings. There is no choice but to fight. Okay, what are you rocking this time? Is that what she was rocking before? 
I do not remember, but I'm pretty sure she has no follow-up in her weapon. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, does she have damage reduction? Yeah, her first combat. Son of a gun! Bumble bu bun bumble. <laughs> uh, I can't believe though. That does that is a really nice thing. Uh, Buck Bumble. Something about Buck Bumble. I think that's the game. Look that up, guys. Uh, give Terminal Montage some attention. It's a very funny video, and it's got a theme that will get stuck in your hand, your head. I do not apologize. All right. So let's see. No aerobatics. Leave it to me. I think we're gonna start like with these guys out. Hmm. Okay. Conrad can easily handle that. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Nice. So we will do this. I'll handle them. You ready? You betcha. So yeah, the whole idea with uh my Felicia build, as I said, I would explain it, is that she uses Sturdy Surge for player phase, and we had a wooden tackle as her weapon from what I picked when she was a Forma, because it gives healing after the fight, and it's just a really nice weapon. And I didn't think we needed to go for anything else, because I figured that's like the best thing she's got. Pedalfall Vase is there, but you know it's not like the, the best. Let's best. Take flight. They are quite literally we body blocking dodge. the genuine threat of the map. That is an issue. Leave it to me. Right. Yeah. Let's take flight. Very well. And of course her damage reduction is what's keeping her alive. Right. Like this? Oh yeah, I could have just swapped. I have hope. Hmm. I'll handle them. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Her weapon is a lot more threatening than, uh, a lot more annoying than Gulveig's. Gulveig's damage reduction is just We've got only in that one phase. Let's take flight. Luna is very annoying. Scatter in the breeze. I'm gonna try to deter her from attacking. Felicia. I don't think Conrad has too good of a chance of surviving, but we can try it. With that Luna. <laughs> this must happen. Take it, take it, take it. Ooh, let's go. Uh, Who trained you? Let's go. <laughs> Love it when my builds work out. Love it when these new guys can just roll right in and do their job. Oh my god, you're so annoying. You ready? Perish. 
But yeah, the whole idea was we take Sturdy Surge and Wooden Tackle for player phase stuff with Assault Troop. We run in, pop, pop, and then she heals. And then for the enemy phase, she has Savvy Fighter 4 and her weapon to give damage reduction to keep her safe in the enemy phase. Wooden Tackle, I believe, also heals no matter what as well. So long as you fight, of course. I want to live. Even if I must die, I still want to live. You don't have to do this, you know. We must follow Kavasir. The power of the Golden Serpent continues to grow within her even now. Oh, so she's already just got it. Okay, then. That sucks. Uh, forget what I just said, then. I know. Your past, present, and future all exist at once. But your past is not you. She is not the same person you were. If Kavasir dies, you will remain. You're so matter-of-fact about this, it seems. Though, oh, your face changed. Though, I see that it is not the matter that concerns you. Is Kavasir, if Kavasir is separate from me and I kill her, I will be stealing what future she may have. I mean, yeah. Is there no other way, Lady Nerthus? Can we avoid having to kill Kavasir? Uh, maybe if it has something to do with that second Breda Blick she has. I understand, you sweet thing. I wish it were so. Alas, this is the only way we can save your world. Right, our world. That is why we're here. If we do not intervene, our world is sure to be destroyed. We came to defeat the seer who would destroy it. That is our purpose here. Even if it meant we had to defeat Sather herself, we had no choice but to fight. Fortunate truth, I guess. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, the second Breda Blick. I don't know if it still functions or if we can even use it. But maybe that's what we can use to save her. Anyway, we got the two free units who definitely look like free units. Hestia, the middle child, is who you get for free by doing some quests. Get her now. And then there's Marla, who is our GHB, and she's just as exciting. Sabotage Res and Infantry Hexblade. Oh boy, no. Oh, so we got uh, Elpis, Lapis, I'm sorry, who has Sorcery Blade, which is an A skill, and now we have the skill that can give the sorcery blade effect to ones that are adjacent, like a bond skill. Which, uh, nowadays, I don't know how useful this is. Because most of the time, you just attack and things die. So, you know, it's like, I'm not sure what the point is. Wait, what do you have? Oh, nothing. Very well. What fun. We've got options. Draw back? Leave it to nice. me. So we will do this. Let's take flight. And uh, we're going to make sure that who you fight is... Wait, one, two, three... For the standard bonus count for Br Prime, I don't think it does. But if it does, oh, 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 let's go. Let's find out. I'm not used to using this Claude yet. As you may know, he just got his banner. Okay, he does not have an extra effect. He does not count for uh, regular Prime skills yet. Unfortunate. So, uh, yeah, he's got to fight first to get all four bonus effects that he is meant to have to kick off Prime. You survived that off one HP. That's annoying. I 
It's a bit unfortunate with Marla and the, the other one. I think we need more skills. So, for the Nerf Fuse battle, for the limited hero battles, I mainly talked about the new banner that we have now and the Echo skills. <laughs> Funny, Echo skills. But, uh, my biggest issue is that we just don't have enough skills. And that what we do get are like scraps from times long forgotten. Things that we just do not care about anymore. I wish they would give us more s of the recent stuff, you know? We need that stuff. You can't move. That's not close to us, I mean. Um, should I just let Felicia have this? Yeah, sure. Unfortunately, that topic ended up taking up the entirety of that video, so I'm not even sure if I want to put it out. Because it'd just be me whining about uh, the lack of skills inheritance that we can get, or that we have. I think we should get... For the future of this land. Like, Ideal is nice, but we already have characters who have given that to us now. So it's oh so annoying that we keep getting new stuff, but they won't give us at least easy access to it until a seasonal rolls around where they stack it onto a the four star focus, and then it's gone until they bring it back. And then next year they'll release it when it's like inferior to something. <laughs> Dragon Slasher. I see. Well then, I think I'm gonna go this way then. Uh, I should have done the thingy. So that we could have used uh, Duma's upheaval effect to get some nice chip damage to tack on the Sonya effect that she'll be having. She's plotting. She's pulling. And to that I say, oh, okay, fine then. My attack. You jerk. We've got options. Let's do this. Better move. If you're gonna drop our attack, I'm going to drop your defense. And also sit down, please. Let's do this. I'll handle them. Leave it to me. Right. Take care of you. What's Celica's help? Ha! Ooh, honestly, that that's a very nice accessory. Ah, that's right. I've been playing for fourteen bonds. It very, really fits on him. It really fits. I like it. Let's see. We should be fine. It's pretty alright so far. I was pretty annoyed that uh, we're getting story for Triandre and Peony in Forging Bonds when uh, Let's take flight. what's going on right now is that their whole shtick is a TT story, so we're getting info about them and their new forms, I guess, in an entirely different section of the story, which is, I think, pretty annoying from a storytelling standpoint for in a video game. It's kind of like Kingdom Hearts. You're playing uh, stuff on the PlayStation series, and then all of a sudden you gotta go to the Nintendo consoles to play and <laughs> get the rest of the context. Of course, at least this one is free for the most part. You just need a phone or a computer. You won't escape. But that was also another topic that uh leaked into the Nerthus video. But I don't know. If you guys don't mind that kind of stuff, I'll just upload it anyways. Let me know. I think I'll upload something before I do the Nerthus video. 
All right. This is it, folks. This is what I've been waiting for. We're going to see how well... Oh, I do not think this will go well. But I want to see how well Conrad will do here. Like this? Like this? Against him. But uh, let's take care of some of these other guys first, I think. So let's do this, and this, and this. And relax right here. I think we'll be fine. Do we want the defense boost, or do we want to lower his res and attack? No, it doesn't matter. He's got his, uh, Mycin is pretty neat. He's got a, he is the classic, and I have noticed this, Old man, old man who is a Lance Cav, who focuses on attack and defense and is slow. Uh, we have had that with Doozel, we have had that with Geralt, and they all have a free follow-up. But uh, the difference with this guy is that he buffs people and himself and makes sure that you can't reduce his, take away his buffs or debuff him so that his absurd debuffing effect doesn't get negated or uh, reduced in any way <laughs> I think I said this before when I was looking at him for the first time he's built he is designed to reduce your attack and defense equal to his defense by a portion of his defense plus six and to make sure that you don't counteract it he has a neutralizing debuff effect he kills off penalties so that you cannot reduce his reduction by reducing his defense. Needless to say, I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be, but I just want to be funny like that. Ow. Let's take flight. Right. <laughs> It's like Conrad versus better Conrad. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. We've got options. Do something about that. A solid move. For our Wait, what? Yeah, no, okay, it's 32. I'll handle I really want to see what happens if we do it, but uh... I think we have a good idea of what will happen. He's got a cooldown minus one weapon, so that's a bonfire we'd end Very up catching. Well. And unfortunately, Conrad did not get guard in his weapon. Right. Hmm. I even made sure like that this. instead of reducing his defense, we just kill off his buffs. It looks like that's not gonna work out to our advantage. Picnic time. Take that guy out. We don't want that ward sticking around. Yummy. I don't think there's much I can do about it. I really want to find out. I really want this to happen, okay? Duma can keep them safe. For our future. Hmm. <laughs> Should I use the duo skill just to be absolutely sure? No, nah, we're no, nah, there's nothing to do at this point. Ooh! Oh, that bonfire! 
Uh, oh, let's go. He survived. Let's go. Damage reduction for the win. Res God. Thank goodness I focused on his defense, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, he has guard. So, uh... <laughs> oh my... He's so close! He's so close! Oh, man. If his weapon was uh, working, that would have done it. Uh, you don't kill off our... Bones, right? Yeah! Wait. Neutralizes foe's bonuses. Oh, is that what it is? I thought he killed off penalties. He's not as broken as I thought. But uh, unfortunately, this means that we cannot right. buff Conrad to get the job done. Hmm. Ah, heckin' darn. Oh, no, we already killed off his buffs. Leave it to me. I can't use their duo skill. Oh no! Oh no! I thought I could have been. Oh dang it! Conrad could have gotten it. Ah! Right. Man. Like this. All right. It's thematic. That's all true damage, by the way. It's not, but it's funny if I said it was. All right, you know, I'm pretty satisfied regardless. You would have died anyway. This. To my future self. Kavasir. I'm glad. Glad to know I'll be so tall one day. Uh -huh. It's so beautiful. Have you enjoyed your life? Have you found love? Well, she's found a dear sister. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it when they just, there's no music change. They just transition perfectly into, oh my goodness. Relax. All right, first things first. Um, you want Dumas to hit him hard. I think we're going to use Claw to take out Kavas here. My sins of threats. This Axe Fire is there. And then Sonya and her sister can be taken care of later. She's not too fast, though. Hitting us with that minus is annoying, though. What does play do again? Doesn't it kill off stuff? Yeah. Uh, doesn't kick out anything that matters, though. Just hits us with exposure, really. In both phases. Uh, fill the pain. We'll do this, and then we'll swap to all. A solid move. So he can get his time spells. Then I think we're gonna switch to Celica just to get a chance at decreasing their attack and speed. Oh. Wow, that's annoying. Escape route. Don't appreciate that one bit. For our future. Good. You ready? That means we can take out you, and then all that leaves is non threats. Like this? Alright, let's get it. Wait, how does your weapon work? If you exist, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure there's no solo conditions. Farewell, grandfather. Into the line. We got options. Scatter 
in the breeze. Woo! Rest now. Like this? We will do this. Give my HP back. Let's go, sturdy surge. Leave it to me. I'll handle them. Okay. And uh, you're all that's left. Oof. Conrad, get her. Nice. There we go. Is that a smile? This is how I die. I see. I have known no joy or pleasure in this life. No friends or anyone to call dear was the time that we spent together. Nothing to you. I have no one. I am not like you. It is better that you live on. Kavas, yeah. That isn't true. The memory- oh! <laughs> The memories you made in your time with Linicus, there is someone dear to you. How do you know about this, huh? Those are not memories I have, but it is for the best. How is that? Huh. Please live on. Do it for me. Live the joys I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess that's it then, huh? Sad. Way to go. I guess a few things to note are why the time that we spent together, that meant nothing, and she says that those are not her memories. So, like, what? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, there's of course the way back when Gulveig, no, sorry, Sather mentions that she feels familiar with you. So maybe this is te who we just face is technically a different Kavasir than the one that we knew. But um, I'm pretty sure that is still the same Kavasir because we've been in the past. From the start, I think? Once we traveled back? Um. Hmm. Because we went to the past. I got jumbled. I ended up with Kavasir. And everyone came, came, with, came to me. We found out who Kavasir is. And I think we fought, she escaped or something. Uh, Nerthu showed up. I think we fought her. We went to the Norther. Norther turned out to be a dick. But I'm pretty sure... Was it? <sighs> yeah, no, 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 okay. Yeah, right? I'm pretty sure I'm following the time of events correctly. Because, I mean, otherwise what is all this for? In any case, yeah, that's some stuff to think about, am I right? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to let me know what you thought about the chapter. Are you as confused as I am? What kind of things do you think about at night when it comes to this story? Uh, I will occasionally be thinking about this. Uh, nonetheless, 
we just move on because uh, the next chapter is going to be the last. Unless they pull a maneuver on this, we'll be going to chapter one. Unless they decide to pull out chapter 13, too. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. Take care.